So solving algebraic fractions, uh, we're still working on this stuff. Now today we're looking at something that's going to take a bit of work here. It's fractions on both sides, uh, both sides of the equal sign, so left-hand side and right-hand side. Now this is something that I think that even if I picked some year 12s at random, they'd have some trouble with this stuff. So it's not easy, but if you follow some steps, uh, and you follow those steps continuously, you really, uh, you should have a good shot at getting these right. Uh, let's take a look at a question so we know what we're up against. Okay, so we're starting off with a, oh, it's a pretty tough one here. Uh, 2x divided by 3 minus 3 equals x plus 3 on 4. Uh, now, there's, there's a lot going on here, but the real issue for us, the problem that we've got is this divide by 3 here and this divide by 4 over here. We need to get rid of them. Now, thankfully, the same rules still apply here. Uh, if we want to get rid of a divide by 3, the best way to get rid of a divide by 3 is to use multiply by 3. That's the opposite of times of divide by 3 is multiply by 3 or times by 3. Now when I do that, remember that when you multiply by 3, you need to do it to the left hand side. This is the left hand side here. And you need to do it to the right hand side. You need to do it to e oops. You need to do it to everything, left hand side and right hand side. So let's go through this slowly. 2x over 3 and I'm multiplying that by 3. Uh, minus 3, and I'm multiplying that by 3. Equals x, and I'm multiplying that by 3. Plus 3 on 4, and I'm multiplying that by 3. So you can see that I've multiplied everything on the left-hand side by 3, and I've multiplied everything on the right-hand side by 3. Let's go through it. 2x divided by 3 times 3. Those 3s, I'm going to change colours here, those 3s will cancel each other out. And that'll leave us with 2x. We've sort of achieved our goal. We've gotten rid of that divide by 3. But we need to keep working through it. Minus 3 times 3. So minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. Now we have x times 3. Now that's just written in a really strange way. We should really write it as just 3x. Okay, that means 3 times x, which is the same as x times 3. Now this last bit you might have a little bit of trouble with. It says plus 3 over 4 times 3. Now 3 over 4 times 3, if you need to multiply a fraction by a whole number, you just need to multiply the whole number by the numerator. So that's going to be 3 times 3, which is 9 over 4. Whew. Okay, so we've got 2x minus 9 equals 3x plus 9 over 4. So you can see that that, that was a lot of work involved, but the goal was accomplished. We've gotten rid of that divide by 3. Now the next step here is to get rid of this divide by 4. Now you can probably guess what's going to happen here. If we need to get rid of a divide by 4, we need to multiply by 4. And we're going to multiply everything by 4. So it's going to be 2x times 4 minus 9 times 4 equals 3x times 4 plus 9 over 4 times 4. Changing colours. So 2x times 4 is 8x. Minus 9 times 4 is minus 36. 3x times 4 is 12x. And then finally, this is the thing that we actually did all of this for, plus 9 over 4 times 4. Those 4s are going to cancel each other out, and we're going to get left with plus 9. Okay, so you can see lots and lots of work here. Once we've done that, though, this part should look really familiar to you. 8x minus 36 equals 12x plus 9. It's just a standard question now. Uh, we need to group our x terms on one side. I'm going to move all my x terms to the right. 12x. This 8x is going to move from here to here and become a negative 8x. And we've got 
negative 36 on this side, we're going to move this plus 9 to there, and it becomes minus 9. So we get 12x minus 8x, which is 4x on this side, and negative 36 minus 9, don't be scared to use your calculator here, it's going to be negative 45. Last step here, we need to get rid of our 4x, so that's going to be 4x divided by 4 equals negative 45 over 4. That's equal to x. Uh, let's just leave it as a fraction here, negative 45 over 4. You could type that into your calculator and get a decimal if you wanted to. Yes, you're absolutely correct, weird opera singer. This is super difficult. Uh, there's no doubt about it. This is one of the hardest bits of algebra we've ever had to look at. However, there's no surprises here. Just think about what you want to get rid of and then do everything the same as the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Make sure you've taken heaps and heaps of notes from today's lesson and then immediately try out some of these questions before it falls out of your head. Okay, get started, fellas.